character of Quang's uh, that he has a Greninja. Uh-huh. His oh, Greninja is wow. very impressive. It picks up on... He, he plays very defensively and bait and punish. I think it fits his Kirby style perfectly. Staying mostly grounded, which is what... Uh, Greninja tends to do until he gets that pop-up. I actually like the idea, too, because if this was like a like a mini counterpick war amongst themselves, you do not want to put Kirby against Ness. Yeah, no. Like, that Ness is going to be able to hold advantage so much better and outspace you so well. Going to this Greninja here is much better call, especially with Hydro Pump Gibbs, being able to just frame shop consistently. This matchup can be hell for Ness, I'm not going to front. Uh, it, it, Greninja's speed and ability to just keep Ness in the air really just helps him out a ton. We've Plus, seen I, what Leah's been able to do. We've yeah. seen what Vinny has been able to do. This character has the business. It has a lot of things going for him. And it's just, he's a, I think it's just a little bit too difficult for someone to master. Right. But and Quang it's is, not very often. Quang has been putting time into Greninja since Smash 4, so don't don't be fooled. Also, after it was a kill thrown out. I mean, Quang's been proven that he's got the multi-character ability, like, for sure. Okay. Well, trying okay. to go for a hard read off that down air there into the up smash, trying to regain the lead. Quang is such an interesting character pool. Bowser, Kirby, and Greninja. What, who, who, uh, that is where's a, the correlation? I don't know, but I'm okay with it. And meanwhile, I'm okay with it too. Fabio is doing a good job of uh, starting to run this back. Because Fabio is taking a lot of damage at the start. But at 157 near the ledge, back throw can steal a stock. Great patience right there from Quang. Just waiting for Fabio to get the ledge. That's quick fair right there. So I don't even know what move that is. I don't think that move exists in the Pokemon universe. Water Scythe? I don't think it's... Might be, might it's a lick, know. man. It's a lick. It's a lick? <laughs> it, might, it might actually just no, be a lick. Lick is his up tilt. <laughs> Okay, he had, all right, he has, <laughs> it's hit a powder water, I don't know, but <laughs> that down Which smash. His, 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 his scarf on his neck is literally his tongue. I know, it's so weird. Yeah, it's weird. But that down smash at the ledge, that. taking that stock, even this back up. Fabio doing a good job of uh, running it back, but the problem is, that's nope, his no. jump. But it's okay, Air Dodge is really, really good. <laughs> that is, he, he, Ness has three jumps. We're also happy to find out that Ness's and Mewtwo's couldn't spam Air Dodge the way that they used to. Nope. Unfortunately and, uh, not, sad face, four went out. Yeah, but you know what, doesn't matter because you have a third jump. Catching the catching the uh, jump right there from Fabio. Yeah, Quang is doing a great job of just ev get, staying ever so slightly out of Fabio's range. Fabio's been throwing out a lot of questionable moves like PK Fire. You, you're not really seeing the maneuverability that Chris had when he was playing on stream. And catching with that down smash. Another thing besides those questionable um, PK Fires is that you're seeing just a lot of hitboxes for the sake yeah. of hitboxes sake coming out of uh, Fabio. You don't want to always put something on a landing. You need a tomahawk. You in need to throw people off. And Quang yeah. is just staying grounded. Just like he's very solid at just holding his ground. Why jump at you when you're not giving me a reason to? It's, it's, it's just that Quang has been punishing uh, Chris, not Chris, uh, Fabio really, really well on every landing he's been, he's been uh, achieving. And again, he's just kind of thrown out a lot of these fares, a lot of these side magnets on landing. And it's good to do sometimes, but even right there, you're coming off a ledge, and it just hasn't worked out for him so far. If he could get another stock here, though, there you go. Just force himself yeah, back in the center stage. I like the idea from playing there. Finally getting a back here there to force him off stage. Okay, yeah, that's a great option to catch if they're staying on the ledge for too long. And it can potentially lead to an excellent back air right there by Fabio. I want to see, I want to see uh, Fabio actually, like, even though he's a stock down, go off stage at some point. Those, that, that Hydro Pump does not have a hitbox. Make it so Quang has to respect you uh, going on, uh, like, on his way back in. And it's working really, really well for Fabio, uh, for, for Quang right now. Is he's just waiting for Fabio to overcommit every single time. I would have liked to see a grab out of that. Catching landing perfect, just slicing Ness in half. It was something as well that he didn't go for there, too. He just opted to go for, like, a jump read off of that falling up there. It could have just been a back throw and, yeah, and just sealed it out. Especially with the fact that he knows that you're throwing out a lot of hitboxes. You have to mix it up a bit. So we'll see if potentially Fabio doesn't change that in game two. Very impressive Greninja play coming in from Quang there. See if he can re replicate that going next game. And Quang out here with the foot catcher hat, man. My boy's got the drip. Quang, Quang has shown up to tournaments in the weirdest attire. Uh, he showed up to uh -huh. one tournament with like a Jerry Seinfeld shirt and, oh my God. and a fez. That's great. But right now, he's rocking the bug catcher uh, yeah, middle costume. He's out here catching these bug, stocks. Bug catcher Quang. Bug playing catcher Quang out here. Playing with the Greninja. Hoping that Scizor eventually becomes a character. <laughs> Dude, Scizor would actually be so Scizor sick. Scizor would be amazing. He'd be so sick. I would love to play Scizor in this. Are you kidding or me? Heracross, bro. Heracross as well. That's another. There's so much potential. Yeah. Just, give, just give us like 10,000 characters. We'll be fine. Yeah, literally. Well, I, I'd honestly be fine with that, honestly. I mean, we could get him in here. We're not getting him into regional decks. No, we should not. Oh. Anyway, so game three, uh, swapping over to the Fox. This is actually another matchup that Greninja does very well in. 
Oh, there you go. Okay, running it back to, to PS2. So I definitely agree with this kind of pick Fabio. I guess they double blinded at the beginning or something like that. If Fabio just picked I think that's so. principle. That, that's, uh, and that's part of what I was thinking. He might have been trying to play around the Kirby yeah. and not pick Fox because Ness definitely would have been better against the Kirby in that matchup. The real grimy move is waiting for the other guy to pick the character. Yeah. And then you pick the counter pick according to that. Look, man, if you're, the, if you're playing games with me like that, I will call somebody over for a double <laughs> blind. I don't care. Like, there we go. Fabio, right. Fabio definitely looking a lot better so far, at least in this one. He doesn't have to commit to the air as much. He can remain more grounded. Sure, he's got to go for those nares to get the kill confirmed. But Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that, that down smash two frames more reliably if you're doing it facing backwards, actually. That's a great question. So currently, <laughs> right now, uh, she's going to get the down tilt into the F, uh, the fair. That down tilt leads into pretty much everything he needs. Like, Greninja plays very similar to Smash 4 Fox. Yeah. Like, great. a lot yeah, of actually, frame traps. Yeah. That's why a lot of Fox players have picked Greninja up as a like, side or vice versa. I know Venia has a pocket Fox that he, he tends to... Light use. actually also has a pocket Greninja. Yes, yes. Um, there's there's a lot of... There, uh, agreed. There's a lot of people who play Greninja. Because it's very similar. It's very yeah, similar they both play on the same principle. It's like Greninja's kit is a little more unorthodox mm -hmm. than Fox's. But they both operate off the same principle, which is get you in the air, stay on the ground, and yep. move hella, hella fast in zone yep. Quick damage output. Difference is that Greninja gets to close out the stocks a lot easier trying to go for a read on that landing side beep. Not going to get it. Shadow Sneak almost coming through. Not going to get it just yet. Okay. Fabio doing a bit better than he did the first game, but he's just struggling Agreed. to catch Quang. Quang is just moving lightning fast around him. Yeah, agree. It's very similar to the last one. Like, yeah, he was for a while there. He was putting out hitboxes for hitboxes' sake. Yeah. But at least in this one with the fox, he's putting it in more strategic positions. He's just getting called out on the way back down, and that is potentially his last stock coming up next it on this of the tournament too. He made it this far, but can he make it any more? Ooh, Great okay, to yeah. I think with the way that he's been playing this year, we'll definitely be seeing him close out the stock. But Brother Quang is just looking so solid. Quang has just been all over him every single time. It doesn't look like, the thing is, it's very hard to hold advantage over Greninja. You really can't combo him that reliably. Okay, yeah. Yeah, trying to go for the stage bike. Yeah. And you're a stock up too. Very good option there coming in for Brother Quang. You got to be very careful if you're if you're Fabio here. Fabio looking for this up smash, just kind of throwing it out there. I don't. I think Fabio should be a little more patient and waiting out to throw out his hitboxes. Fox operates so well off of patience too. I like to see, and as you said that, he actually waited on the platform, didn't get called up on the up smash. He tried to get the roll read uh, off the tech chase with the up smash too. So he's slowing it down, and there he is, gets the landing back here that time. That tag stands for above all odds. So let's see if above all odds, can Fabio bring this back? Can't take another one of those for sure. Yeah, absolutely not. But, oh, uh, Quang also is part of the same crew. I forgot about that. So it's actually, both these two are fighting each other in the same crew. There you go. Get that reflex stall to keep yourself back. Hey, man, that sucks that they're both in the same crew and they have to play each other in losing schools. Oh, that no! That was that was almost filthy. Yeah, wrong game. But yeah, wrong <laughs> game, but still actually pretty pretty good. I mean, I, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen light, crazy go, yeah, stuff. He's gone down there, gone for shines on that jump. I mean, Greninja will probably make it back, but it, it's good. He's going off stage. He's not letting Quang feel super comfortable, just getting back for free. He's been waiting in shield a lot more for Quang to overcommit, and it's been mm -hmm. paying its dividends. He's got Quang up to an impressive 66%. However, up throw is going to kill. It. No That's lightning insane. or anything, just a straight yeet That's out, my of my, That's my uh, out of my stream. That's honestly my favorite. Yeah, so unfortunately, the above all odds boys had to take each other out. Uh, Quang will be advancing. I don't know if he's going, if he's making it a pools off of this one. It's loses quarterfinals of the pool, so no, actually. Yeah, so that so there's still more pool left to play for that there. But Quang continuing to just con just show his diversity and character uh, ability, like doing very very solid at that. Fabio looks a lot better with the um, the, the fox yeah. pick in the second game yeah. there. The nest was a little bit too antsy while landing, and yeah. I think if he cleaned that up a little bit, try and focus on that the next time he comes into a tournament. Uh, but it was definitely a very impressive run so far from Brother Quang. It's tough, man. Ness goads you to press a lot of buttons. <laughs>